it's mine. Hello Yang Gang, this is Nam Man. Welcome to my channel, Make Me Think Harder. <laughs> Today I want to talk about my Twitter account, some of the messages I saw on my Twitter account. It's about these Bernie Sanders support groups are calling for Andrew Yang to step down and start endorsing Bernie Sanders because Andrew Yang has no pet, no chance, no odd of winning the primary. They are also calling for Yang Yang to disband and start supporting Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I don't understand where that is coming from. I only found out about Bernie Sanders when I started supporting Andrew Yang. <laughs> That's how much I was disengaged from politics. Andrew Yang is the one who got me engaged in politics. On top of that, when I, did, I took this little survey by Washington Post. Which of these 2020 Democrats agree with you most? It was no surprise that 19 out of 20, I agree with Andrew Yang <laughs> of, of 19 out of 20 questions. And I, I was a little surprised when I found out that I agree with the least, least, with Bernie Sanders. So why would I drop what I'm doing now and support Bernie Sanders? I don't understand that. I don't want to talk about polls and surveys. Not anymore. I want to talk about my view on politics and my views on political power as a disengaged for many, many, many years. I know the story Lord of the Ring or Hobbit. I know they are only fantasy folk tales written by J.R.R. Tolkien. Great writing, by the way, and great philosopher, I think. But key theme in these stories rings true to life, in my view. You see what I did there? <laughs> rings true to life. <laughs> I don't understand Bernie's Porter's argument or Bernie's argument that he has been at this for 30, 40 years. Pushing for Medicare for all, job guarantee, federal job guarantee, <laughs> uh, fight for climate change, affordable housing, income inequality, free college, if he's been doing it for 30, 40 years, and if this is all we got, that sounds more like an insanity to me. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Albert Einstein, so says the Google. <laughs> I do have a question for Senator Bernie Sanders, though. In 30, 40 years of experience as a senator, as a politician, what have you done to accomplish all these goals you set out a president of the next four and eight years, four or eight years? For instance, last 30, 40 years, what have you done to help not skyrocket tuition? because it has been. What have you done for income inequality? It's getting worse and worse in the last 30, 40 years. What have you done for affordable housing? What have you done for climate change in the last 30, 40 years? Why are we here? <laughs> All these things. I'm sure you had some great successes as a politician, and I'm, so, I'm sure you have some uh, great failures as well. But 
as an individual, as Andrew Yang points out, politicians in D.C. do not suffer from their failures. Whether their policy fails or succeeds, they still make a good income, and in your case, you are able to sell books and make billions. Don't tell me those books selling had nothing to do with your political power, your influence, and your political experience that we taxpayer pay for. In my disengaged voters' eyes, what I see is a man who have tasted power in politics as a senator. And in this stage, you want more. In my view, you should be using the wisdom you have gained from all the experience in the last 30, 40 years to teach next, next generation of politicians. But no, you're saying only I can do it. No one else can. It's my power. I need more. No one else can do what I can do. I need to get in there and get it done. You, Biden, Senator Warren, maybe even Amy Klobuchar, I don't know. You guys all seeking this power because you have tasted it. This is my view. To me, you are billable begging of this political system. And you need to drop that powerful ring. All your long years, we've been friends. Trust me, as you once did. Mm. Let it go. Of course, I think Andrew Yang is the photo of this political story. I think he's the least tainted one out of them all. So he needs to hold that ring, that power, for the next eight years and just drop it into the volcano. <laughs> he needs to set the precedence that you are good for eight years and get out and let the new blood in. He needed to set precedent that George Washington set in the beginning of this country. That's way for NGN to make history. Now, still, Bernie Bros, just like Yang Yang, want to support your candidate. You believe in your candidate and you want to support him. And that's what democracy is all about. I do not discourage you guys to support Bernie Sanders. Go ahead and do it. And if a bunny wins, congratulations. Um, but please, don't tell us Yang Yang that we have no chance because that's a lie. We have some chance. We know, we do know math. We know we have very low chance. We have a very hard path to get there. But we do know this. I do know this. By me contributing my hours, my money, it may be dropping the bucket, but ever so slightly, I have increased Andrew Yang's chance to win. If my fellow Yang Yang does it, they will have ever slightly so increased Andrew Yang's chance to win. That's what I believe. It'd be lie if I tell you that Andrew Yang is going to win 100%. Just as it is lie for you to tell me you have no chance. We are not prophets. None of us are. We're not prophets of the future. So when I'm struggling to add that odd for Andrew Yang to win, I am participating in this democratic system. I am doing my civic duties. So please, 
don't discourage me from what I'm doing and let me do what I do to support Andrew Yang. I will let you what you do to support Bernie Sanders. Anyway, until I've found out who is the nominee for the primary, Andrew Yang is my guy. That will never change. Just know that. Till next time, I'm in out.